Across the globe, we are seeing industries transfer their skills to make items that can help protect healthcare workers and the general public against COVID-19. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espayat shows us how the oldest surviving children's shoe manufacturer in America is expanding their product line to help. With every shoe pattern, it starts out with a basic drawing and a pattern. Um, in this case, it's a mask. Kepner Scott Shoe Company in Orgsburg has been making children's shoes for the last 132 years. We can turn on a dime. Whatever's thrown our way, we can transition and, and, and make it work. The business closed for the first time March 19th because the governor originally deemed the business non-essential. They applied for a waiver and it was granted because they make orthopedic children's shoes. Now, they are also re repurposing their staff of about 20 shoemakers to make fabric masks. Now that health officials are recommending people wear them during the pandemic, their production is even more critical. I'm glad we can bring our work family back into the workplace and also serve our community by supplying masks for those in need. So um, we just kind of retooled our production and instead of leather we're using 100% cotton and elastic. Uh, After seeing family and friends who work in the medical field struggle to get masks for work, the Zimmermans decided to donate the masks to healthcare workers and the immune compromised. We saw a need for, for masks and we wanted to help out and we wanted to protect um, our friends and family and local community. The small business has six stitchers working in the manufacturing building with two working offsite to produce about 1,500 masks a week. Kepner has opened their product to the public for sale, but if you can't afford one, you can either opt for a scarf or find a DIY pattern online. Kepner Shoes has survived six wars, the Great Depression, and the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic, and is now ready to take COVID-19. In Warwickburg, so Rachel um, Espayat, you know, Eyewitness sure News. For information on how to get masks, head to our website, pahomepage.com.